I know this is not Christmas related, but hey, I just got back from theater, so why not just review this movie just for something? <clears throat> so, Spider-Man is the Spider-Verse. This was something uh, that I wasn't expecting to do for review. Yeah, I wasn't wanting to do this as a review currently at the time of this recording. Reading. So, well, let's just go with it. With it, but, um, <clears throat> Spider Man is a spy first. So, um, yeah. By the way, this review is for Stanley. Yeah, rest in peace, Stanley. Rest in peace. Anyways, back to the review. I want to talk about the episode itself. Mm -mm. So, when I first heard about that, I was a bit skeptical when Sony was going to make another Spider-Man, was going to make another Spider-Man movie, but animation-wise. I was a bit skeptical at the time of it. So, yeah, that's pretty much that. So, yeah, um... Then trailers and whatnot. Yeah, later I thought it was, and I was actually hype, and I watched it, and it was really amazing. It was amazing for what I reviewed. Um. So. So I want to talk about some things that I want to talk about. <clears throat> so the plot of this movie. Um, I'm not gonna spoil this for too much of the plot, but let me explain the plot pretty much. Mm -mm. Miles Morales is, is the other version. In the universe is where this version of Spider-Man and, and yes, this version of Spider-Man Man, kind of was a blonde and famous one. And yeah, he used to be that and well, later he got little Yeah, anyway. Yeah, he was a famous and blonde one. And, oh, sorry, something was in my mind. Who, yeah. This friends. Anyways, he struggled to adjust to go to his new elite board school. Well, and live out to the expectations of his parents, and who view Spider-Man as a menace. And, okay, in this world, after his grand speaking with Gwen Wanda, it's just, yeah, I know it's Gwen. I'm not gonna spoil. I know these. It's literally Gwen. As soon as I, we know that. Mal seeks advice with the Dave, Eve. Or the power. Wait, that's it? Who? Huh. Sorry, it's just I'm new to that. Anyways. Mm -mm. Yeah, sorry, this is new to me. And yeah. Ooh, dry clay. When, while doing painting, he gets bitten by the another radioactive spider. Either. Mm -mm. So yeah, I'm like contracts and finding as a sick and going back and realizing his new powers and whatnot. Mm -mm. <sighs> we get to the typical from the sequel era where the kingpin, I know he has a name, but mostly everyone likes to call him the kingpin. And because everyone usually calls that him by that name, so yeah. Where he wants to reconnect with his alternate version of his, well, his wife and son. And who died in the car crash due to that Spider-Man incident. With the assist of steroid version of Green Goblin. Yeah. This version of Weird Go- It's the weirdest goblin I've ever seen in this movie. They're like, what the hell did they do to him in this movie? Like, they just made him look like a directly- ma Mostly something you will- The most killing machine ever. Like, did they forget the goblin is the guy who looks- who rides on the skateboard and throws those pumpkins? Um, I know the. It just straight up feels weird this version. Of, 
a bit of the of the Green Goblin. It's just straight up feels weird like seeing this sterile looking one. And, and I know and Yeah, it's straight up weird seeing it. Imagine if you're having a iconic character just imagine having this skinny side imagine having a skinny character just suddenly just appear as the brute as like probably the Hulk or something. Anywho, and well pretty much that. Basically the Spider-Man of this universe it was a d uh, trying to attempt to disarm the disarm the yeah, so, her, Particle Accelerator, which I will give the be credit with the effects of the comic and yeah, throughout this entire movie it was a more comic book like effects. Excuse <laughs> me. Thanks. Mm -mm. So yeah. Mm -mm. So yeah, the spy the the Spider Man of this will will get yeah, and probably met with Miles also gives him the USB he to disarm the. So I'm right here. There. And also that. And King Fang just straight a murder. Spider Man. In spite of it. Spider sacrifice, Miles attempts to basically try to practice his new abilities. And later on meets the familiar version of Peter B. E. Parker. Or basically the pretty much the well the Spider Man that everyone knew him. Or aka the Spider Man everyone knows. Apparently that's his middle name. Though everyone refers to this guy as Peter Parker, I don't think he has. I don't think he. Yeah, people will not know his middle name. Yeah, I'm sorry. It's just that it's kind of weird seeing hearing his middle name, in even this movie. Aim, aim. I don't know if this was directly canon or something, but everyone still prefers him as Peter Parker. Anyways, just. Moving middle names aside, an old, an old and jabbed version from the Nerd Dimension who had uh, a lot of problems. <laughs> yeah, he had gone through a lot of problems, and it was a sad. It was really sad to see the regular continuity Spider-Man dealing with issues like this. Peter has been in the accidentally being sent to the Miles World by the Accelerator and whatnot. And they decided why not to also get the get the get it was pretty much the way to get out by also breaking on a regular USB stick by getting on our computer version of that and get also ambushed by a obvious yeah Octavius yeah that's no joke that's literally her um basically think a female ver rule sixty three version of about to inspire me of Professor Dr. Octopus. This. Yeah, we do see her earlier on in the movie, so then. So, yeah, Peter managed to escape with the computer. Anyways, Miles and. P yeah, they escaped with the computer and whatnot. Miles and Peter decided to escape, then realized that Gwanda is actually Gwen. I am. Anyways, we see Gwen and Stacy revealing her identity and whatnot, and yeah, also somehow managing to. to basically. You get back to the normal dimension. And Shen. Shen pretty much. Anyways, Glenn leads Peter Miles to basically. to May Parker, onto May, yeah. We lead to Aunt May, who also sheltered the other Spider Man. Spider. If you will, the other three members of the series were other spiders. Eight, eight people. Yeah, it's kind of weird. Like, how? There. Yeah, like how were they hiding up this the whole time? Were they, were they expecting guests or, or something? But uh, so yeah, mm -mm. we speak Spider-Man Noir. You may have known him from different other source material. And surprisingly, this version of Spider-Man Noir is voiced by Nicolas Cage, apparently. It's kind of weird seeing Nicolas Cage voicing another Marvel, doing another Marvel, another Marvel character after Ghost Rider, but eh, let's go forgive that in the past. As, as Penny Porker, nice to, to see another come, another sp person, another spider person from another 
from a bit from a bit of an obscure series. But being in this movie, I do like her design being uh, being more anime like design. And Spider Ham, basically a lot of dang mostly of a Looney Tunes version from the universe where every single an car animal is where every single Marvel character are and anthropomorphic animals. They also reveal they're also been there, and it's up to them to probably get disable the accelerator and and basically bring all the spider people back home. Yeah, that's pretty much the plot of this movie. Oh yeah, and also Scorpion, apparently looking like a bit of a weird version of Scorpion. And Tombstone, yeah. I don't know who Tombstone at first until this movie came in, yeah. Or you may have known this guy from the animated series or the spy or the spectacular. There. You may have known him from the original TV from the 1994 cartoon or the the spectacular Spider-Man. Take your pick. Egg. Yeah, that's pretty much the plot. And the rest of the plot was pretty good. It was more about seeing these other Spider-Man basically talk. I do like the character development and jokes between Spider-Man and Miles. Like, for example, him going for a burger. And I also find the funniest joke earlier in the movie where Miles attempts to go fall down, do an attempt fall down of the... Want to do a leap of fate, but managed. But just, like, he was doing the highest building, but it just... You know what? I don't want to die. <laughs> yeah, it's like so funny in the scene. Mm -mm. And really, that also I find a nice little Stan Lee cameo in when he when he was the costume shop when he was selling the costumes. Apparently, he's a a dimensional hopper because he's the creator of Marvel, and it's kind of expected. It's from a guy who basically created his own series, fran comic book franchise. Eyes. Eyes. I will also say the soundtrack is kind of the music of this movie is pretty amazing, and I do really like the original soundtrack and music they made. I really love that. Like a few of my there are a few of my favorite songs in the entire spy. These um really it's part of my favorite movie yeah. Mm -mm. And now there it the right mm -mm. So yeah the I do really like like this movie and while well, doing and yeah overall this is a pretty good movie and yeah. Well, excuse me, anyways, I think this is sort of my last Christmas review before I get around opening that package I still have, but I need to get around opening it. it. I'll show you what I got after Christmas, and maybe I'll show you that, because usually when I upload some things, it usually has a problem. And yeah, the problem with this move doing this is that mainly YouTube has a... There you go, such to the American day, a day be in that American, that we have a day lit, that we are a bit of day early with, with the US, so for this I'll just leave it like that. Also, there are some possible sequels, and since there are going to be potential sequels, being that we're going to get maybe other spider people, ah, okay. so yeah. So, get ready to go for dinner. Okay, uh, let me just finish this off. Anyways, happy holidays and Merry Christmas. Also, I want to show you something. Um, also, what I got is also something a little special. I just found in the store and it's a the Highwayman. Yep, I got this guy. I know, I know. The it was just to make promotions, but it really looks pretty cool. And I don't want not to keep it as one of my. I'm just gonna open this guy up when it's Christmas, as well as that pack, as well as the package I have. Anyways, well, excuse me, I got to go do. Anyways, I got to go di for dinner, so yeah. Happy holidays and Merry Christmas.